Yeah. He got some incredible entertainment for you. He's been writing songs here in New Mexico since he was 16. Now he's been carving out his own style, putting together traditional country with a modern twist. Welcome to New Mexico's own Sim Bulky and his Hong Kong crew. Brazilian friend just landed in New Mexico in another planet. He's starting to understand what America has become. Yeah, you got off the plane thinking everything was going to be fine. And now, now we've seen, I don't know, we got free whiskey and uh, we saw parachutists. Just beginning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It hasn't even started yet. The light still kind of sucks, but uh, we'll be back later with more. Sponsored by Accident Insurance Company Incorporated. Great job, team. Great job. Good. <laughs> in another planet. All right, so welcome to the another planet. Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. I gotta say this kind of underneath my breath. I'll be honest. I kind of want to see someone get caught accidentally in one of the guidelines and get taken up in the air. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. I think that comes from, that's called journalism jadism, where you're like, what's the worst thing that could possibly happen? And then how likely is that to happen? And then how likely am I to get really great images of that horrible event? But just don't, don't share that with a wide audience. Could look bad. So I started this party with a Brazilian and I lost him in the first 10 minutes of shooting this little extravaganza. I've managed to uh, lose my Brazilian. I'm down a Brazilian. It's not really a party until there is at least one Brazilian running around. A lot of photog types here. A lot of guys in vests with a lot of equipment acting very serious. They're in their kind of war stance, you know, one leg back squatting, twisting, parrying through the crowd. This is big business, man. Don't even think for a second you're gonna half-ass this one. You know who nobody's talking about at this event? I'm gonna give you a little window into the mindset of photographers. So somewhere in this crowd of 100,000 people, 100,000 disturbed souls who are at this event, somewhere out here is the local newspaper photographer. And they, she, he or she, or whoever, or however they designate themselves, they're miserable. Because earlier in the week, they were like, man, I hope I don't get the balloon assignment. I really hope I don't get the balloon assignment. Because you know why? The balloon assignment has been done every year for whatever, 50 years, 100 years. The cavemen back sucking on helium, however they got helium back then. And they were like, this has been photographed and assigned every year for 50, 50 years. And I guarantee you in the last 10 years, somebody assigned to this just nailed it nailed it made a picture that will never ever be bettered ever in the history of the newspaper even if it lasts for a thousand years but yet they have to assign it again every year and that poor sucker is out here right now trying to make some sort of magic that 
ways that compares to what was done 10 years ago. I know it because I've been the photographer assigned to shoot something that's assigned every year. And you're like, God damn it. They have foot long corn dogs here. Isn't that enough? All right, no joke. There are a, a hundred thousand people here with cameras. And I'm talking Sony's, Nikon's, Canon, Fuji, Lumix. I'm talking full on stealth rigs. We're talking scaffolding. These are like civilians. These aren't even filmmakers. These are people who are literally been walking around with their camera on 8K, 12-bit recording for three hours straight. They're gonna go home to their 1986 PC computers and just grind and grind and grind over that footage. They're gonna use cinematic LUTs. They're gonna use Rec. 79. 709 or 712 or whatever the hell it is and they're gonna grind and they're gonna grind and they're gonna grind and they're gonna put it all on YouTube for 27 views they're gonna get 27 views it's I'm telling you it's 8k tack sharp perfect LUT Breck 709 everything is good everything is right the problem is there's 99,999 other people here with the same 8k camera shooting the exact same stuff. You know, everybody's all hot and bothered about the eclipse, which I'm going to watch here on the patio. Got about eight or ten people coming to watch this thing. But the people that have real, real guts, you start wearing these through airport security. Then come talk to me. Dateline, Aspen Vista, peak fall colors, attempting at all cost to avoid Instagram scum, blocking trails blocking roads, selling products, lackey boyfriends filming, posing with peace signs. If you're still posing in peace signs, you're 18 months behind the curve. It's embarrassing. Please stop. You know how I always harp on you to make prints? <clears throat> make print books, magazines, zines, whatever. The Instax printer is the perfect gateway drug to printing. So when I say print, I don't necessarily mean go out and try to make <clears throat> War and Peace or some incredible book every single time you sit down. The Instax printer is like the absolutely ultimate gateway drug. And if you're a journal keeper, notebook keeper, these are a gold mine. So I'm making a couple images from Peru. Uh, I prefer the black border, these, because I think it really helps encapsulate an image. It takes the power of that image and really like compresses it. Uh, but I have a ton of the white border as well, and uh, I don't really care. Ultimately, it comes down to just making prints and then adhering these into uh, books and magazines, my journals, and then also I send these in letters to certain friends and family. So uh, my advice? Do the same.